Robert back here. I'm going to share with you some of my latest finds I found on my days off from work this week or last week, whatever you want to call it. Just came back from my weekend and um, let me show you my scores. The first thing you all see here is the Power Max stove and the canisters. Uh, I'll show you those last. Those were not from an antique store. That's I found these listed on uh, Marketplace with a um, listed with a bunch of other camping gear for one price. And I scrolled through the pictures and I seen this stove and the canisters and I messaged them if you'd sell them separately and. Uh, he said yes, and it was a couple hour drive for me, but um, it's the town where my sister-in-law lives, so Melissa have been wanting to see her sister, so we knocked out two birds with one stone. I took her to see her sister, and I picked up uh, this. So uh, I was tickled to score this, especially these canisters. We've got three full ones and one empty one. And... Um, I mean, that was a major score for me, but I want to share you with you some of my other finds. Some from antique stores and some from Restore. Habitat for Humanity Restore. Okay, I found this um, battery-powered carbon monoxide detector. It's originally $69.99. Found it at the Restore for $10. And I've uh, been needing one of these for the little camper. I've had several comments in my videos of and my buddies I'm camping with about I probably need to invest in one of these so there we go got one also from the restore found a package of carbon felt this is uh, great for making the alcohol stoves it's fireproof uh, felt and uh, four dollars no I'm not sure what it costs new but I'm pretty sure it's a lot higher than that but uh I did get it for four dollars and I was tickled to find it. Also from the ReStore, I think these were originally from Ace Hardware, but the ReStore had it. I found it in a box of uh, bolts and nuts and different things. There is a new old stock uh, camp stove generator. You can see that, 50 cents. All right, another generator. 220 lantern check that out better focus in 50 cents brand new in the pack that's the deal it can't be beat right there okay also from the restore uh, these are the best door stoppers you a man can find I promise you that they, they, they are they work better than any door stop I've ever found I've seen a guy using these one of the hospitals I was delivering to much better than a regular wedge shaped when the door hits it it rolls back like that catches under the door and the door ain't going nowhere got two of those at the restore for a dollar a piece if y'all ain't never seen none of those you need a good door stop that's the best you can buy right there it's a piece of uh, gasket material regular price $2.29 I think I got it for 50 cents some solid brass decorative hinges use these on my lantern boxes and such another 50 cent package okay a package of uh, scrap leather straps Melissa found those for me the buck uh, that's what I use on making my lantern vices. I cut them down to uh, three quarters of an inch for the padding on my spacers for the lanterns. So that's always handy. Okay, I've got this bag full of uh, decorative antique brass hinges and latches. $5.99 for the bag. But I mean, that's a lot cheaper than what you can buy them in the hardware because there is a 
whole bunch in this bag. I mean, you go to Hobby Lobby and buy these, they're, they're like $2.99 for a pack, of just a single single set. So $5.99 for all of those, those come in handy. All right, lantern globe. Not sure what it fits. Might be for an oil lamp or something, I don't know, but but uh, the way I go through lanterns, this, this probably may fit something out of God or something coming through. I think I get 50 cents for that. All right, picked up this little cast iron skillet with uh, like a burger press. Didn't give much, I think it's $3.99 or something for that. Got that for the little camper. Uh, that'll come in handy. All right, there's a probably a tea strainer, maybe a coffee strainer. But you know me, I'll be using it for coffee. Let's sit right down in the cup. You pour your coffee in there and pour your hot water through it. We'll be seeing that in an upcoming coffee challenge. Okay, I guess this is some stuff Melissa's found for me. I don't have any idea what she'd give for them. There's a little set of a wood carving chisels. You know, I like my wood working. A syringe. She picks those up for me because she knows I use them on my stoves for the alcohol. A uh, pack of chapstick, I guess. Coca-Cola magnet. A little Altoid style tin. It's a little bit deeper than Altoids. I like that. I'll make me a little leather pouch for that. And there's some batteries I've been needing. She picked me up. She takes care of me once in a while. Here's some tie downs. Been wanting some of those. Uh, I don't know if that's a good price or a bad price, but I needed them. $9.98. So we got eight of them for $9.98. So been needing them they're going to be handy okay got a couple of uh, pressure gauges the ones you buy at Harbor Freight I haven't had any luck with them I bought two or three different ones and they've all been junk but this seems like a really good quality it's heavy duty it's solid I mean it is heavy I think it'll hold up a lot better than the Harbor Freight ones got two of those for $4.98 a piece Okay, it's a little wooden box. Looks like an older box. As you can see, it's got the dovetail joints. I was really tickled to find this. Got all the accessories for the Dremel tool. Got a bunch of these small cut-off wheels. They got kind of bounced around in here. But there's a bunch of those. They're all mixed, but there's several of the heavy duty cut off wheels, diamond bits, stone bits, more cut off wheels. Yeah, it's got bounced around. Uh, polishing paste, felt pads, sanding drums. Hey man, I use all I use this stuff all the time. I think I give $10.99 for the box. Like I said, I think it's an older box. So I, I was I was tickled to find that. There's a lot more than $10 worth of uh, bits in there. And last, got a cool little coffee pot. Don't know how old it is, but it's it's in really good shape, like brand new, no markings on it anywhere. I love that little glass bubble. But it's good shape inside and out. So, uh, upcoming coffee challenge. Okay, this is something Melissa found me. It was in a package. I don't know what happened to the package. But this goes on a, uh, something to do with a stove. But it's fairly heavy duty. And, um. I forgot exactly what it was used for, but it was something to do with heating on a stove. But uh, I think it was 75 cents or something. 
and I'm going to use it on um, M1950. You know, try to make a heat sink to put on there and see if we can get a simmer out of that thing instead of uh, wide open. See, see if this will make a kind of hold back the heat a little bit and get a more even burn it's for, for more of a simmer. We'll give it a try. I don't know if it'll work or not. And I showed you the Power Max stove in the beginning. Got a little grease splatter around the single burner, but other than that, it looks pretty much new. So, uh, like I said, these uh, Power Max fuel cells, they are extremely expensive when you can find them. And uh, check this out. This guy bought them on clearance, probably at Kmart, I'm guessing. Uh, $1.49 a piece. And uh, I'm not sure what he'd give for the stove, but I got three full, three full canisters and one empty canister, which I was able to refill about halfway with butane. I've got it in the stove now. So uh, we're going to do a coffee challenge. I'm not sure when you'll see it when it get uploaded, but I'm going to do a coffee challenge on it. So y'all be looking for that. Okay, y'all know the routine. Like, share, subscribe. God bless.